Comedy Central Sports presents BattleBots. He was designed for this night, built for this battle. T-minus finally gets his shot at undefeated three-time champ, Hazard. It's the championship. We will crown the new middleweight king in our first semifinals, a pair of Cinderella's in search of a titanium slipper. The turtle has raced through the tournament, piling up bodies like a robotic Jeffrey Dahmer. He faces SOB, whose unique buzzsaw and dustpan design has swept away his stunned opponents. And in a much-awaited matchup, fan favorite T-minus wants a piece of Hazard, a very big piece, while Hazard's hunting down an unprecedented fourth giant nut. The stakes are high, and robots are going to die. Comedy Central Sports presents BattleBots. We're in San Francisco, where Press Duck in Chinatown can't compare to Crushed Bot in the Battle Box. Welcome, fans of destruction, to this championship night. I'm Tim Green, along with Carmen Electra, Arj Barker, and Tony Rock. And here's a guy who knows a thing or two about winning, Bill Dwyer. Winning is everything. At least that's what some old football coach once said. But what do you expect from some guy who spent too much time sniffing sweat socks? Okay, I was wrong about him, but I'll tell you who does know about winning are four semifinalists, and here are the first two. Rich Schoberg, San Diego, California, SOB. SOB's come a long way from the number 39 seed all the way to just one step from the finals. Jim Smentowski, Ronert Park, California, Turtle. I'm sure Jim Smentowski never thought Turtle would go further than his more famous bot's nightmare and backlash. Here we go, middleweight semifinals. Carmen's got some breaking news. This just in from the pits. In his last fight, SOB bent his buzzsaw arm. Has he had enough time to fix it? Good question. There's Gary Coleman. The box is locked, the lights are on, it's robot fighting time! Are you ready for the semi-finals, middleweight division? SOB with the dustpan working already. He's got Turtle scooped up, but Turtle escapes that spinning blade. That spinning blade not only gives us a great show in the sparks fly, also works as a clamp. Turtle is running SOB into the corner. Neither one gets a hit from the pulverizer. And Carmen talked about that blade on SOB, and it looks to be working. We'll see. Turtle sustained some real damage in his last fight against Anklebiter. He's looking okay now. But again, whenever I say that, they always just stop working. Turtle not looking too good right now. SOB got Turtle in the dustpan. He's grinding away with the saw. Couple of sparks. Some sparks. We always see a lot of sparks when it's titanium. When it's a titanium shell, the sparks fly. Well, Jim Smentowski and Turtle seem to be somewhat lifeless. This one so far belongs to SOB. He drives Turtle into the pulverizer. Turtle relies on his speed and his power. Right now, he's not showing too much of either. I noticed when I said uh, Rich Schoberg, SOB driver, thought you had a corny sense of humor and it kind of quieted you down a little bit. Oh, really? Perhaps I'm just in a pensive mood. <laughs> Maybe that's it. SOB takes a shot from the kill side. Not much so far in this fight from Turtle. Seeing a lot of good offense from SOB. The dustbin is working perfectly. It's been lowered for this fight. It's getting right under Turtle. And you can see the patches on Turtle's shell after his fight earlier against Ankle Biter. Of course, Ankle Biter was taken out by the kill saws. That's how Turtle won that fight by KO, and he is being dominated in this one by SOB. Wants to bring him to the pulverizer. 
pull the saw back and just let the pulverizer go to town. And that town, of course, would be Hammertown. <laughs> I always wondered what that town was. Oh, yeah, it's an awful town, too. Don't ever get caught there. Just about 10 seconds left in this fight, and it looks like it's all SOB. Turtle's still hanging in there. It looks like it's going to be SOB going down to the finals in the middleweight division. That was a perfect fight for Beast Turtle. SOB got his saw to work, and he worked over Turtle. Check out these replays. SOB doing what he does best, trapping Turtle in the dustbin, dropping the hammer down, bringing him to the spike strip, and then the pulverizer getting in some pounding. This fight was all SOB. The judges have spoken. SOB ends Turtle's steady run 31-14. He goes to the finals for the first time. Carmen and Tony talked with the combatants. You were knocked out in the first round last season. How does it feel to make it to the final? That's like living in a dream. We went from disappointment to disbelief now. Aw, that's good spirit. <laughs> does it feel a little bit bad that if you win, you get to go over there and talk to Carmen Electra, instead you're here talking to me? Ah, uh, well, you know, take take whatever I can get. Who, who would think that a little turtle here could make it to the semifinals? For what it's worth, I'll let you look down my shirt. <laughs> no thanks, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Jim Smentowski lost, but that's just going to give him more time to pursue his other interests. Jim does more in one day than most of us do in a lifetime. Every day, Jim gets up bright and early for a little light reading. Then it's off to the local public library where he uses his precious time to brush up on the classics. No time for dilly-dallying. Jim's got an appointment to keep. Always go with the grain. Jim needs to unwind a bit. So he's off to the old folks' home for some jazzercise. Shake it, Grandma! Now that he's worked up an appetite, Jim flips his own dough at the pizza parlor. Little bridge with the girls. Then back to the docks to close another chapter on a day in the life of Jim Smentowski. Man, it wears me out just watching him. Hey, stick around. You don't want to miss this. Undefeated three-time champ Hazard takes on T-minus. It's a semifinal match worthy of the final. And now it's time for some BattleBots trivia. True or false? It's okay for a BattleBot to run on the same kind of gasoline used in a car. Stay tuned for the answer when we come back. For more information on how you can enter a fighting robot in a BattleBots competition, log on to BattleBots.com. So, true or false? Can a BattleBot run on gasoline? The correct answer is true. Gasoline is an acceptable type of fuel for a BattleBot engine. Just don't expect to get 30 miles a gallon. Take a look at San Francisco's Lombard Street as we wind down the middleweight season, getting ever closer to the finals. We'll find out soon who's going to meet SOB in the middleweight finals. Big semis with big bots. Hazard versus T-minus. Bill? Thanks, Tim. You know, ever since we've been covering the sport, we've witnessed a lot of unstable characters, lethal weapons, and shocking violence. And that's just in the stands. But there are giant robots out there, huge machines, that do things that are too crazy even for the battle box. Meet artist Christian Risto. How does a guy fill his day when he's not busy collecting skulls and mannequins? I build large robots and I stage performances with them. Now there's a play I could sit through. Lots of action and none of the yapping. Robots can take our place and tell our stories in a more grandiose and powerful way than we as humans ever could. Plus, they catch on fire and rip each other apart. I think it reinforces our feeling of being alive and safe to see terrible things happen at a distance to other robots. And let's face it, that's just good television. Thanks to shows like BattleBots, uh, robot geeks are turning into rock stars. Fighting robots. It's a heavy metal paradise. Them's big robots, Tim. 
You know, really reminds me of those big offensive tackles I used to line up against. There you go again, talking about football. We know you played in the NFL, Tim, all right? You're doing fighting robots now, you got it? Just that all this violence, you know, makes me kind of nostalgic. All right, well, here's some more violence. Hazard versus T-minus. Number one middleweight seat. Hazard has never, ever lost. Here's how Hazard got here. One word, domination. He KO'd Misty the Wonderbot and Blade Runner, each in just over a minute. Against Zion, he didn't get the knockout. He only beat him 43 to two. T-minus was designed to beat Hazard. They've also added an extension to the end of the spatula so T-minus can get underneath Hazard without getting ripped up by his blade. T-minus got here by tossing and bossing around Trident, Double Agent, and Huggy Bear. Let's start it up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a middleweight semifinals matchup. Introducing in the red square. This bot is so good, so efficient, and he wins so often that, frankly, it's getting a little annoying, but you gotta hand it to the defending middleweight champion, Hazard! In that 17-0 record are 12 KOs. He does it in a big way. And his opponent in the blue square. I know these are just machines and they don't have emotions, but damn it, this one always seems to be pissed off. Here is T-minus! you got to make modifications when you're fighting Hazard. You can see the titanium wheel guards, the extended spatula. It looked like T-minus had the flip-off glove there for the champ Hazard. The box is locked, the lights are on. It's robot fighting time. Right at one another, showing no fear. T-minus with that extended flipper. Can he get that under Hazard? Yeah, he gets under a mark. It's under there, look at that, one of the skirts of Hazard. It's blocked his blade. Without that blade, Hazard is not Hazard. It's T minus win. That him. could be it. No, it's the foul in the left turn. Amazing. Alexander Rose and Reason Bradley may have done it. May? They have done it. Unthinkable. Hazard, the king is dead. Oh man. What? T-minus. One of the best and quickest fights we've seen. What a surprise. What? Absolute perfect. Ingenuity. That's what beat Hazard. Two great bots giving us a great fight. Short but thrilling. Here are the replays. They come right at one another. And you can see the skirt getting caught in the blade. And here's the flip. Here it is again. Oh, it's so sweet. A knockout in 55 seconds. Who would have thunk it? Carmen's with Team Inertia Labs. T-minus, Hazard, both real crowd pleasers. How does it feel to win? Well, as an undefeated robot, he's been on our minds ever since we built T-minus. We've never had to go up against him except in a rumble before. So we put on titanium wheel guards, titanium armor, titanium arm, pretty much all just for him. Congratulations. Thank you. Your thoughts? You know, when I was fighting T-minus, I thought I was going to hit him. I thought I saw the sparks. All I needed was one good hit and take him out. But I drove right under his lifting arm, and he lifted my own wedge right into the path of my blade, and that stopped my blade. A little weight off your, off your back? Yeah, after all this time, I feel like there's a weight that's sort of been lifted. Like, everybody's wondering who's going to beat him, who's going to beat him. And uh, now we know it's not undefeatable. It's definitely not. No robot is out here. So uh, I kind of feel good about it in a strange way. I'll leave you alone now to have a moment alone with your robot. Thank you very much. The middleweight finals are set. SOB with one victory after another, adding up to one huge surprise in this tournament. But does he have one more win in him? And T-minus has big momentum behind him, but did he leave his best performance in the semifinals? The middleweight championship will be decided just minutes from now. Hey you, don't construct or operate a robot or battle bot without proper supervision. Carmen Electra coming at you with this date in bot history.
this day, 2001, do you remember where you were? If you were a robot named Fear, you were on your back, getting worked by future champ Toro. Fear, man, throws himself against the West. Oh, 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 fear, right on his back. This fight was over in the first 10 seconds, but the gory memories last a lifetime. And that's this date in bot history. It's middleweight championship night on BattleBots. Someone's going home with that thing. Welcome back. Our finals are going to rock. T-minus versus SOB. Ever since he first entered the battle box, T-minus has had the look of a champion. But due to an engineering flaw or plain old bad luck, he's never made it past the quarters. SOB is also a first-time finalist, but very few people thought a dustpan with a buzzsaw would get this far. He's enjoyed proving his doubters wrong. For those about to box, we salute you. This matchup is for the BattleBots Middleweight Championship. Introducing, in the red square, the road to the giant nut is a long one, but now it's only three minutes away for T-minus. You saw Bill the Reason Bradley there. His partner, Alexander Rose, will be driving. And in the blue square, another first-timer in the championship fight. Here is S-O-B. Builder Rick Schoberg and Team Sony Online Entertainment have given us an impressive display. The box is locked. The lights are on. It's the middleweight finals. Oh, this is going to be something. This could be the fight that everyone's going to want to see. The question is, can SOB scoop up T-minus and get him in that dustpan? Well, we know he did it there, and he brings that blade to bear on T-minus. Now, can he move him about? T-minus can't do anything when he's right there in the dustpan. T-minus with an impressive run to get here to the finals, beating the heretofore undefeated Hazard in the semi. Oh, and that was a fight, and this one is going to be two. Oh, watch out! Now SOB's got to make his move. Probably a little nervous. First final. SOB going to work. SOB gets oh. it. He's all right. I don't know. It looks like there's some damage to the dustbin there. Yeah, there is. You can see that. A bend in the pan. He might have up under and SOB is flipped again. Will he be able to ride himself? Now he's back. Rams him into the spikes. I don't know about you, Bill, but to me, this looks like all T-minus in this fight. Yeah, and I'm glad T-minus isn't backing off at all. I'd like to see him go at SOB one more time. Maybe pin him up against the black sand wall. Do you risk the giant nut, though? I don't know. T-minus. You're way in the lead right now. It's such a well-built box. Nine, no, T-minus is going seven, to play this six, safe. Nine, SOB is being counted four, out. Three, we have our middleweight one, champion. It is T-minus. Congratulations to Alexander Rose and Reason Bradley. T-minus, your middleweight champion. Early on, SOB making some noise, actually trapping T-minus in the dustbin. And then when T-minus was in a little bit of trouble, he was able to rewrite himself and dominate this fight as he did so many others. Puts SOB in his place, which is second place. We'll show you our hit of the week and talk to our finalists when we get back. Well, for exclusive builder interviews, online chats with fans, and money-saving coupons on breaker muffler service, log on to ComedyCentral.com slash BattleBot. It's our hit of the middleweight season. T-minus launches SOB en route to his very first championship. And that's our hit of the week. Congratulations to T-minus and Team Inertia Labs. Finally living up to expectations. T-minus roars into BattleBots history. Now Carmen's down in the winner's circle. Alexander, I'd like to present you with the middleweight giant nut. How does it feel? Uh, it's awesome. This guy's gone through uh, three tournaments with little things going wrong, and we wouldn't, were never able to go all the way. And finally, nothing went wrong, and everything went right. So thanks to all our sponsors and our great crew, we finally got here.
Does this make up for Toro not repeating? Goes a long way. At least we're going home with a giant nut once again. So that's that's great. Congratulations. Now here's Bill to recap this raucous night of robot fights. Raucous to you, Tim. Sweet metal music to my ears. In our first semifinal, SOB Decision Turtle to move on into the championship round. Lots of spirit here on the SOB team. In a highly anticipated bout, T-minus finally met Hazard and dealt the defending champ his first loss ever. And in the finals, T-minus knocked out SOB and grabbed himself a giant nut. For Carmen Electra, Art Barker, and Tony Rock, I'm Tim Green. And I'm Bill Dwyer. We'll leave you now with the new champs taking on their biggest challenge yet, the press. See ya. Yeah, taking Hazard down was, uh, was it had to happen. Somebody had to do it, and we put so much work into him thinking specifically of Hazard. And it was it was awesome to be able to do that. So.